Okay, activity is in with the first attack of the war, guys. Yoda is hitting SLS's base. Wonder what he's going to be coming in with here. Uh-oh, guys. This is the base I gave uh, SLS. And if you guys were watching the stream yesterday, we saw this get absolutely wrecked with uh, Queen Charge Hogs. But he's coming in with the drag bat. Looks like he's going to come in from the top of the base, if I'm going to guess. Wait, did he want the king to go that way? It looked like he wanted the king to go the other way, guys. Anyways, we'll see where he decides to come in with the drag bat from. Obviously, the two sweepers aren't really facing towards the top of the base here, so he should be able to get a nice drag pathing through the base here. It's just whether he can get enough splash, because as you can see, there is a lot of back-end wizard towers on this base. I would know I built the base exactly to stop this hit, but maybe it won't work. We'll find out any second now. Wow, he's doing an ice golem and a loon really early on. And he's run into two Teslas. I can safely say I didn't put those two Teslas there. So SLS is adapting the base. Looks like though, because he's going to bring the safe blimp for the town hall, guys. That safe blimp will lure the CC. Um, so that's why he's starting with the RC now. Or if he brings the sneaky gobs, either way, that will lure the CC. So he doesn't want to lure the CC onto his RC. But I bet he wanted to get rid of that wizard tower, guys. And he wasn't able to get rid of the wizard tower, so that's good for SLS there. An extra wizard tower stays up, and he's coming in with the drags from 1 o'clock, guys. Heaps of drags there. Really nice pathing through the base. He has made a really nice funnel for himself. We'll see. He comes in with the blimp here. He should pop warden ability any second. He gets most of the drags in the warden ability. It's perfect. I don't know where the tornado is on this base, guys. I can't remember where we put it, but it's not in the way of that blimp. He rages on the town hall. The drags have taken out basically the whole base, guys, but he's got no freezes. Uh, this is wrecked. There is absolutely no way this doesn't triple. Even if this wizard tower picks off all the bats, guys, there's not enough defenses to take all this out. And it looks like activity. Black's going to come in with a triple on my base. Rip this base, guys. I can't base build. Don't buy bases off me is the moral of this story. Because he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 dragons up. Are you kidding? 9 dragons. Yikes. Norseborg, I want to cancel my order. No, <laughs> Ron just ordered bases off me, guys. But this is absolutely wrecked. Lovely hit by Yoda. He's going to have plenty of time left. Uh, nine dragons, guys. Dragbat's so OP in this meta, though, guys. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It works on a lot of these bases. Because a lot of people are trying to defend Lalo and Queen Charges. So a lot of the sweepers aren't set up to stop this attack. He's going to come in with the OP triple here. Really nice job by Yodo. I wonder if I'm Crying can respond. And Serg is in for I'm Crying. I doubt he's going to overkill a base as much as Yoda just did. But we'll see what he can come up with here. I've seen this base before. I swear I saw this base hit just yesterday. If I remember it correctly though, there might have been three... No, it's the exact same base. So what Serg's going to do here, guys, he's going to use the RC for this uh, single Inferno here. Oh, the RC was meant to go left, though. In the uh, other video I've seen on this base, the RC goes left to get the uh, the multi. But Serg just improvises. He's just going to... Because it's a symmetrical base, he'll just start from the top. Unfortunately, that Yeti's kind of wasted at uh, 9 o'clock there. But hopefully, the Queen still goes the right way. Nice lure of the CC there. No headhunters in this CC. Um, so this is going to be really easy for Serg to deal with here. But if I remember the plan correctly, they just force the queen into this channel here and it'll hybrid straight into the town hall. Um, if I remember correctly as well, it did really well on the base, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure activity made adjustments to this base because uh, if, uh, if it's been streamed of it being tripled, then uh, they've probably adjusted some traps. So we'll see what happens here. Um, so it's coming in with this king and the sage barracks. It looks like the king might go the wrong way. I really hope the king doesn't. Because uh, obviously he needs that funnel there because there's heroes and there's a bunch of trash on the outside here. Looks like the king does go to the outside, but a few of his miners have gone to the outside with him. He has to pop queen ability because unfortunately with the zaps, um, he has to. Uh, he doesn't have as many rages for his charge here. But this is looking really good. Town hall's activated. Perfect pop of the warden ability. The king and a bunch of miners are on the outside, unfortunately. But look at it, guys. Most of the big defenses are down on the base. There's no scatter shots left. No expos left. No eagle. Not a single hero. It's just this back end multi. And he's still got a heal, guys. And he can probably sit on this heal. For... Oh, he probably needs to heal now, actually. That wizard tower's doing work. Because, look, this queen is going to get the bomb tower. And I think if this queen gets the bomb tower, this is a triple, guys. 
As long as he heals, yep, he heals. He's just going to make sure all his stuff is full health going into this multi. Fortunately, the queen is going to go down, but look how many troops he has up left, guys. Man, this is going to be a three-star showcase, this war. So trying to uh, lead... I think this is the equivalent of 10 drags up for a hybrid attack, guys. This is absolutely wrecked. Perfect execution from Zerg here. He's going to do it with at least 30 seconds left. And uh, this is going to be an awesome war, guys. 3-3, three to three, one attack each. And who knows who's going to win from here, guys. But I'm sure we'll see more triples. OP. Activity Black is in with their second attack. Anonymous is in on Elliot's base here. And he's going to be coming in with a hybrid We'll see. Oh, look at where he's starting his queen from, guys. I wonder where he's going to try and get his queen into this base. Because look how far he's starting from the town hall and from the CC, guys. So I'll be interested to see what he plans to do with this charge, how he plans to deal with the CC. But he has got the blimp, so I wonder if that's a Yeti blimp in there and he's going to use it to lure the CC at some point. He comes in with the Coco Loon. Well-placed Coco Loon. If there's any Sams there, there's no way that they're going to get his Queen anymore. And he gets one of the Sams on the air defense. A lot of the times, you do see Sam sitting next to air defenses to take out the Hounds. Oh, but he wall, break, he wall broke there. And it doesn't look like the Queen's going in for the wall break, guys. She's walking along the wall. She has no interest in going in on this base. Hopefully, he can force her back in. He has put down quite a few troops. He needs this, uh, these loons to take out this uh, cannon. And they don't. The queen's gone walkies. And it'll be interesting to see how he uh, adapts here, guys. Because the CC's a mile away. The town hall's in the core of the base. He starts with his king and his siege barracks. Is he just going to hybrid in front of his queen? This is going to be interesting, guys. Can he, uh, can he save the two-star? Or is he going to just triple? We've seen already a couple of triples in this war. So I'm not going to uh, put it past them. He starts in with the miners. Clearly, this isn't the plan he was uh, going for, guys. But this is uh, this is what improvising is. Uh, a lot of the time, you have to do things you don't want to. But this is the difference between good players and great players. They can improvise on the fly. He's got a rage for his hybrid. The town hall's activated, which is really nice for him. He doesn't have to worry about the hogs missing the town hall. But he does have to worry about the wardens not covering any troops on the town hall, guys. And he's going to have to deal with this hound. Is he going to get the town hall? We need to zoom in here. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job at zooming. Is he going to get this town hall? Or is this... Is this a one star? This looks like a one star to me, guys. Because I... Unless... Unless this queen... In the next minute... Oh, the RC ability just takes out the town hall, guys. I didn't think the RC ability would be enough to take out the town hall, honestly. But the RC ability just takes out the town hall. There must have been just a few HP left on the town hall. And uh, the Queen's just going to deal with the, all these pups. Look at it, guys. There's actually not many defenses left on the base left. There's 45 seconds, so this is probably a time fail, honestly. Because I doubt the Queen's going to get through the rest of this base. She's got no health. All the wizards are down. But this was a great uh, improvisation from Anonymous here. Uh, nothing went right at the start of the attack. And he's still going to get a high percent attack here. Making it very difficult for I Am Crying because... Uh, those low percent hits are really morale boosting when you're on the other, uh, when you're on the other side of the war. But activity is not going to give uh, Elliot or I am crying the satisfaction there. Looks like this is going to come in with what a 93, 94 percent. Damn, this was a nice attack here from Anonymous. If only he probably should pop this Queen ability, and she's going to beat on another wall. That is definitely a time fail, guys. Damn, nice try there to Anonymous. And I am crying uh, in. Can Nicholas respond and get the lead for I am crying? We'll see in the next three minutes here. It's another hybrid, guys. T today's just hybrid day, I guess. Um, this is a really ugly base, though. So I'm interested to see the plan here. He has got the blimp activated. And it looks like he's going to try and blimp this uh, single compartment at sort of uh, 7 o'clock here. He just goes for a really safe blimp entry on it. He pops the blimp just in time. Other otherwise, that sweeper would have pushed him back. But yeah, this single should definitely go down here. Please? Is it going to go down? Oh my god. Wait, is it? Oh my god, guys. Is it going down? It j The single barely goes down. Wow, that was uh, that was looking dodgy for a second there. Perfect poison. Look how many gobs are there, guys. My god, that's a lot of goblins. <laughs> um, those CCs are so annoying to deal with as well. The wizard's going to have to deal with the skelly here. Can the wizard quickly get rid of this elixir storage? Would be nice. But it looks like the queen's going in anyway. I wonder if he wanted the queen to go in, guys. I don't know if he wanted the queen to go in or if he was going to try and force her into this single compartment at 6 o'clock because this single's going to beat on his queen. Fortunately, that rage missed. 
His healers were outside, so he has to pop ability early. Yet again, not an ideal start to this attack. This Tesla farm is going to be really annoying as well, and he's got nothing to reach that single. So it'll be interesting to see how he adapts as well. He has got a super wall breaker, but it looks like it opened that wall near the town hall on the wizard tower rather than going into the core. This queen's dead, guys. The queen's dead at 35%, and even though that att that last attack, the uh, queen didn't do exactly what he wanted, at least the queen stayed alive the whole attack. That's why he was able to get to uh, 95%, but with the queen dying here, it's going to be a lot harder to get to that mark. Yet again, using the rage on the town hall is one of the best spots to use it, but look... The Rage just propels the Hogs past the Town Hall. He gets the Warden ability. Unfortunately, not every Hog's in that, but hopefully these healers do work. The healers were in the Warden ability, um, and I think he's got three or four of them left, which is going to be nice. He's still got two heals and a Freeze. He uses the Freeze nice and early. I probably would have saved the Freeze, but uh, clearly uh, maybe the qu Queen was going after his RC. You never know. He's got a reasonable split on his... Uh, on his hybrid here, but this RC is going to go down early. Look at all these Sams in the core of the base, guys. The healers are gone. This attack just got annihilated. And he's he's nearly swagging a heal here, guys. There's just nothing to heal um, left anymore. This is going to be unfortunate. This is going to be one of the lower percent attacks, and that's the difference in the war between Activity and I'm Crying at the moment. When the attack went bad for Activity, they were able to save a 95% hit. But unfortunately, Nicholas isn't able to do that. He's still going to get, like, enough percent. It's not ridiculously low, but you definitely, uh, on your fails, want to be pushing past the 80%. So, uh, nice try it to Nicholas. We'll see what he can do with this final Wizard and Archer. Just always trying to maximize percent, guys. Because you never know. We've seen wars in ASL come down to the last percent. So, you've got to gotta get as much percent as possible. But nice try to Nicholas. So Leon's coming in on Fresh Air's base here. Can they extend their lead activity? We'll find out. So he's coming in here with a Mass Hog. Zap Mass Hog. This is what we want to see, guys. And he's going to get good value from this Zap. He's probably going to get rid of the single and the... No! He doesn't go for the CC, guys. He's going for the Queen. Wait, what's he doing here, guys? I'm so interested. Look how smart this is, guys. So... He, only, he knew he only need, needed five Quakes for the single, and then he wanted to take out the Sweeper in the core. Obviously, the Sweeper's not going to do much in terms of, you know, blowing back a uh, Hog attack, but it will affect the pathing in the core of the base, and it just makes the pathing through the base a lot nicer here. He's coming in with the Wall Wrecker, so he's just going to push his Wall Wrecker, King, and Queen through the CC, but I bet he didn't want his King to get in range of this single so early. Um, a lot of the times, this sort of attack will work on this base because there's not enough damage by the Town Hall to uh, take out your heroes, even if the CC is there. And it looks like... Has the Queen switched to the Hound? I can't tell, guys. As if that Queen stayed... If that was my Queen, guys, that Queen would have switched straight to the Hound. But uh, it's Leon's lucky day here. The Queen doesn't switch. So this Queen's just going to deal with this uh, these Lava Pops pretty easily. She will have to pop ability, but I think that's all he wanted from the Sui, guys. Um... It'll be interesting though, I think he really wants to get rid of this wizard tower for pathing through the base here. Can the queen get rid of the wizard tower? She can't. So hopefully none of the hogs go from this wizard tower uh, that we can see in the core here to the uh, to the sweeper that we see next to the CC. Because that would hurt his pathing a lot through the base. We'll see what happens though. It looks like they're going to behave really nicely here. So nice job to the hogs here. They are, you know, behaving for once. But these are all really low, low health. He has to heal. But even with the heal, guys, I'm not sure this heal can keep up with all the DPS in this base. He has got the headhunters and the RC dealing with the uh, enemy RC really quickly. He has got a bunch of hogs up. Hits another spring there. This back end single is going to be huge on this attack. Oh, that's a nice Tesla farm. And he's got no heals left, guys. And this looks like it's going to be a low percent. This looks like it's going to be a low percent. All those springs, but all in particular, the giant bombs in this base were perfect. Um, I guess there's a reason Fresh Air builds for RH base building, guys. Look at this, guys. It's barely got to 50%. Damn. This looks like a really good plan on the base, guys. He got so much value from the zaps, and it was a good value Sui as well. It just didn't quite work out for him. So let's get some easy defense emotes in the chat, guys. Um, unlucky to Leon there. Honestly, I thought that was a really good plan. When that Sui worked, I was worried for the base. But, uh, just good base building. Good traps. 
I, that's how the meta is at the moment. If you can have good traps on your base, guys, you will get good defenses a lot of the time. So we're just going to wait for this wizard and archer to uh, get the final few buildings here. But it looks like he's not even going to crack the 60% mark. That's very unfortunate for Leon there. I'm not sure he did a whole lot wrong with the hogs. It's just hogs do be like that some of the time. Uh, no, he might get just 60. Yeah, he gets just a 60% here. So nice try to Leon, and uh, I am crying with uh, with the advantage in the war, you would say now. And the legend himself, SLS, is in on Anonymous. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, he, I was going to say, he normally comes in with the drag bat, but this is mass E-drags, guys. And you can kind of see why he's coming in with this attack. We see the sweepers aren't really facing towards the town hall. I wonder what he plans to do with this Sui here, though. He's using the RC at the top. But there's not many defenses at the top here. So yeah, I am curious what he plans to get with this RC. Actually, I can see what's going to happen here. He will pop the RC ability. And she's going to get rid of uh, one of the uh, sweepers here. So he's using the bowlers on that side. If he pops the RC ability right now, he should. Oh, he'll pop it after. I wonder if he wanted the RC to go that way though. Because the sweeper that's going to be affecting the E-drags on this hit is still up, guys. Fortunately, this RC is lured the CC, but look at it, guys. It's a triple ice activity, not coming in with many of the, uh, not coming in with many of the headhunter CCs that we see in just about every base. Wow, look at that E drag chain, guys. But unfortunately, look at these ice golems. He needed to put the archer at like three o'clock, uh, like nine o'clock, guys. And that, oh no, the safe blimp is it going to work? Is the safe blimp going to work? Those sneakies got pulled off the tunnel. The E drag chains get the tunnel anyway. But what is this warden doing? He's following one E-Drag. Warden, there's four E-Drags in the core of the base. And he's going to eat a Sam. This Warden has a death wish, guys. And this looks like it's going to be another defense. I wonder if the uh, if the, uh, if the the Warden stayed with these E-Drags. He might have had a chance here, guys. Looks like the King and Queen didn't get much value, though. On a lot of these E-Drag hits, you see the King and Queen kind of go up the flanks. And they get enormous value, but not on this hit. Unlucky to SLS there. I kind of like the plan. Um, but unfortunately, that uh, that safe blimp got absolutely wrecked by the tornado, which pulled a few of his drags towards the town hall. The sweeper didn't go down, and everything just split horribly. Nice try to SLS, but yet again, guys, it's going to be this sort of uh, mid to high 70% attack, which is not really what you want. And he's got a rage left, guys. He is swagging a rage. That's... Definitely not what you want on this attack. He could have used that rage earlier on because on oh, he's raging the archer guys uh, Maybe it'll help him get an extra bill and you don't know but guys that last attack was what 60% and I am crying was up 16% going into this hit So I believe this war is going to be 0.4% or 0.6% difference after this hit So this is going to come down to the very last hit at this rate. Nice try from SLS and King Dover is in on Serg's base here, guys. This is a huge hit in the context of the war. And he's going to be coming in with... What is this? Is this... This is a Sui Lalo, guys. Sui Lalo. He's just bringing the one zap, but he's got a quake as well. So I'm guessing what he's going to do with this zap and quake. He's going to put it on one of these single infernos. And use his RC uh, Royal Champ ability to take out that uh, single inferno with just the shield. That way the RC doesn't have to deal with the pesky single inferno. And there's no chance of her dying. So I'm really interested to see this attack, guys. We love uh, Sui Lalo here. Sui Lalo is just so good to watch. Yes, Zap Lalo is pretty cool as well. But uh, Sui Lalo is even more difficult and even more sexy, therefore. Um, but technically, I guess you can use the Zap Lalo emotes as well on this attack. He is bringing the ones up. Um, so it looks like he's going to use the Ice Golem King and Queen to clear out the bottom area. But I don't think this... I don't, I don't think this queen's going in for this single, guys. Maybe she will. We'll see here. Nah, I don't think she's going in. I think he definitely wanted to get that single down, guys. But that queen's not going to behave. He uses a yeti at 3 o'clock. I wonder what that was for. I guess we'll find out soon. He's still got the zap and the qu quake. Maybe he's using the zap for the headhunters in the CC. But look at this, guys. There's no headhunter in the CC. So we'll see. I'm very, uh, I'm very curious on this plan. We love Sui Lalo, so uh, we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Just uh, interesting uh, that I haven't figured out what's going on yet, and we are one minute into the attack. Okay, so he's going to use the RC for this single at the bottom. I wonder if this was the plan, guys, or if because the king and queen didn't get that single that he's changing up on the fly. Also, the hound is at the top of the base, guys, so his RC wouldn't have been able to get that... Uh, 
wouldn't have been able to get that single because she would have got stuck on the Hound. So maybe he's just adjusting on the fly. Either way, he's got to start his Lalo soon, guys. It's We're at a minute 30. And he's only taken down 31% of the base. He's coming in with the Lalo here. Um, he's got three Headhunters, guys, and that's really smart play. Look at this. The, king, uh, the RC and the Queen are basically holding hands on this. Oh, this is an ambitious blimp. We love ambitious blimps on this channel, guys. If you've ever seen Wounded Attack on here, we love ambitious blimps. Is the Tornado in the core of the base? It is. The Tornado's in the core of the base. He freezes the core yet again. I think this blimp's going to make it, is it? Oh my god, guys. The blimp makes it. He's got the rage on the town hall, so I think he would have made it regardless. And that blimp in the rage takes out the town hall. Is there many defenses left? I think there's just a little too much left up in the base, guys. So I think this is going to be another hold here for I Am Crying. This was a nice... We, I love Zap Lalo plans, guys. Oh, not Zap Lalo. Sui Lalo plans. I've said that like four times during this replay. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't work out for him. And some of the time, Sui Lalo will make you look silly. Because it's just so hard to execute. You need so many things to go right. But when it goes right, it looks damn sexy. Um, so nice try here to uh, King Dover. Yet again, though, guys, this is another hit that's going to fall below the 80% threshold that you we want for our attacks. So that's going to give I Am Crying the advantage yet again. Will they actually be able to take advantage of this advantage? Um, or will they uh, put another low percent hit? Nice try to King Dover. And Fresh Air is in, guys. This is his first war with I Am Crying. He's already got the OP defense. Can he get the triple as well? Oh, look at this army, guys. Look at this army. <laughs> We were trying this in Legends yesterday with not much success, so we'll see. Oh, he's is he coming? He's coming with a Queen and Warden Walk, guys. Because he's bringing the Queen and the Warden together, he shouldn't need a Headhunter to deal with this enemy King. And he's pretty sure that the Queen's going to go left. That's why he's brought both of them on this. He still brings the Headhunter anyway, because man, that King does so much damage. Plus the uh, Cannon and the Arch Tower. Oh my god, this Queen's going to have to pop ability, guys. Oh, yep, she has to pop ability. This headhunter's gonna switch onto the warden. Oh, it just dies, guys. That was looking dodgy. Wow, look at what... Look at the value of that quake. Oh, but he didn't get a scatter. So I reckon he got two bows and an inf and a multi. A multi is pretty useful to get as well, though. Maybe even more useful than a scatter. But generally with these attacks, you see them on, like, bases with three singles... And use that like a scatter. So we're about to find out how truly strong this attack strategy is, guys. Do you need queen ability and can you just power through two scatter shots? He comes in with the quad quake on the base there. So that scatter shot is going to be low health. But look at it. The king and the pecker went inside the base, guys. He wouldn't have wanted that. And look, he's going to have like five... How many witches is that? Is that six witches going to the outside? All because the, the king does a bonehead play. He's got the rage down nice and early. That's what you see with a lot of these. They try and warden the skellies and rage really early. But look at this. Everything's going to the outside. The king literally soloed the town hall. Maybe it was worth it. Maybe at the end of this attack, we'll look at the king going in being a good thing. But there's, in my opinion, there's just too many witches on the outside here for this to be a good thing. I can't see his queen. I can't find his queen, guys. Is his queen dead? Oh, his queen. What the hell? How did the queen end up up there, guys? I'm trying to keep track of everything that's going on here. Unfortunately, look at it. That quad quake opened everything in the core, right? And I think what he wanted with that was the queen to reach that uh, scatter shot, because the queen could reach the scatter shot from the back end. But now, because everything's on the outside, nothing's going to reach this scatter shot or the single. He's got a million witches up, though, guys. Do you think he can push through here? Do you think he's got enough witches to push through here? He needs he needs his something to take out this queen before the queen takes out the warden. Oh, the warden goes down. That's so unfortunate, and I think there's just too much splash on this back end. Luckily for him, he has got a high enough percent that uh, I Am Crying should take the lead, but I think we all know that this attack looked like it was wrecking, but unfortunately, the uh, BK had other ideas on this attack. This bomb tower is doing absolute work. Um, and yeah, that's going to come in barely a fail, or has he got it? If these scale... Oh, no, all the... Look at the scatter shot, guys. Oh, my God. It's got, like, a 100 ki kill count there. Nice try from Fresh Air there, and uh, I'm crying. Take the lead. Elliot's coming in, guys. The finisher for I Am Crying. What's he coming in with? Why did I even ask? He's coming in with a hybrid. This looks very similar to the base Elliot ran before, guys. He's going to use this blimp and probably a rage to take out the town hall here. 
Nope, no rages. He's probably got sneaky gobs in there and maybe just the one Yeti. Yeah, he'll have something like nine sneaky gobs in there, guys. Yeah, look how many there are. A few giant bombs go off, which is obviously nice for this attack. And he's actually set himself out a nice funnel to the right-hand side of the town hall. So there's no way the queen's pulling left here. I think he wants her to go into this open wall here, but we'll find out. Yeah, he probably wants her to go into this open wall. Otherwise, this air defense will destroy his healers. So he's starting with the loon and the baby drag up the top. I wonder if they're late. The queen pulls south, though, so if this mortar goes down... I'm pretty sure the uh, queen will go in here. Yep, she should reroute into the open wall here. So nice job. Oh, that's an interesting spot to wall break. It's an interesting st spot to wall break, guys, because it hasn't gotten the double layer. I wonder if he's expecting the queen to, like, run around and go back in. Wait, guys, I didn't even see him deal with the CC. I'm clearly a poor caster here. Oh, look at this OP second layer wall break though. He did that first wall break, guys, so he could get that second wall break. And this queen charge is looking absolutely cracked. OP start to this attack and he's going to hybrid in from one o'clock here and that's going to push his queen into the core and hopefully she can't reach the multi, but she can beat through a wall uh, to get the multi. He's put another rage on her because look at it. The queen's tanking the scatter shot as well, guys. This is going ideally so far. Fortunately, though, this king's not going to get as much value as he wanted. With the bomb tower and the Tesla farm there, it's really good base building here from Leon. So a lot of this hybrid's going to pull to the outside. He's got to pop warden ability now, you would think. He pops the warden ability. Look at that. Wait, guys, did he do a third layer wall break? This queen is in the core of the base. This hybrid literally just has to get the outside of the base. The queen's got everything else. He freezes the scatter. Unfortunately, the hogs run outside the heel, though. And that tornado is keeping the hogs outside the heel. It's kind of OP, but he's got so many miners up. The hogs finally get into the heel still. He's still got RC ability, guys. This looks like a triple. Unfortunately, the single locks onto his RC. He needs to pop RC ability. He recognizes the singles on his RC. He pops the RC ability. He's got so much hybrid up. And uh, unless this is a time fail, uh, this looks like a triple. Unfortunately, all the hybrids come to a bit of a grinding halt, guys. Could time be the biggest enemy of this attack here? I know we want to see the activity attack as well. But uh, I just want to make sure this is a triple. Because if this is a triple, they win the war. I'm crying. And if it isn't, uh, it can come down to the hit from activity. It looks like he's got it, though. He's got it. That's a triple. Elliot's going to seal the war here for I'm crying. What an absolute beast he is. That was a crazy queen judge. And oh my god, the activity came in with the one star. And that's the war, guys. I am crying comes in with the win in week one against Activity Black. And uh, for those who uh, don't remember the uh, Clash International Cup like league format, if you weren't here at the start, I can put this up yet again here. But like, it's a ranking system. And Activity is one of the best clans in this league too. So this is actually a huge win for I am crying here, guys. Beating one of our best opposition will do.